Welcome back, everyone. You're watching SNN Good Morning. It is Monday. We had a very, very hot, sticky, humid weekend. And yes, that type of weather will continue right into the beginning, through the beginning, I should say, of our work week. Now, we continue to get this southeasterly wind, which is a very warm wind, and that is why we uh, feel so toasty. Now, we are going to be watching this cold front here. This brought all that bad weather to Tennessee over the weekend. It is pushing to the south and the east today. The good news is, as it moves, that onshore breeze that was bringing that oil slick northward closer to the Louisiana coastline will slow down a little bit today. And also, the Though, as the storm system does push to the east, the worry is that it will bring some of that oil slick towards the Florida panhandle. Of course, we're keeping our eye on that for you. Taking a look at our futurecast model today for us here at home, nothing but uh, a sunny mix for our skies. So very nice conditions throughout the day today. Again, we are watching this. We're going to get a portion of this, some rainfall, probably it looks like Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, but just uh, not a washout, some scattered showers. Temperature-wise today, we're going to be around 90. Our average, I don't think, will be 90 but it'll feel hot enough. 89 for Sarasota. We're looking at 88 in Inglewood and 89 in Venice. 92 in Northport, 92 Liquid Ranch, 91 this afternoon in Port Charlotte and Punta Gorda, 85 for Boca Grande, and 86 in Longboat Key. State numbers come in like this. 78 for Pensacola, 85 Tallahassee, 92 in Gainesville and Orlando, 90 up the road in Tampa, 92 Fort Myers, 84 Vero, West Palm and Miami this afternoon, and 86 in Key West. Boaters, winds out of the south today at 15 knots. Seas are going to be about two to four feet. Your water is choppy. Your rip current risk at the beach today is low. That is some good news. Now, in the south, after some very heavy flooding over a foot of water in Tennessee, this system again shifting more to the south and the east. Places like Georgia, Atlanta, I think we're going to have heavy delays, uh, flight delays this morning. But Georgia, Alabama, southeast Mississippi, on through the Carolinas, getting some of that rainfall today. And uh, yeah, we're watching this one. And it's also pushing towards the uh, mid-Atlantic and northeast as well. So we're looking at uh, basically travel delays, I think, along the eastern seaboard today of some sort. So call ahead before you head out. Now, as for the Midwest today, things are drying out, of course, as the system pushes more towards the east. And as for the west today, a vigorous storm is bringing, once again, heavy rain, mountain snow to the northwest. And it's basically a wind machine with wind gusts 50 to 70 miles per hour in places like Washington and Oregon and Montana today. The numbers across the nation look like this. We're looking at 80 in Dallas, 69 in Denver, 85 in Phoenix, 55 in Portland, 75 Detroit, 84 in Washington, ahead of all the rainfall, 83 in Boston, 79 Atlanta, and 93 in Brownsville, Texas today. Pollen mold counts are down. We're moderate for tree pollen today. We're moderate for weeds, moderate for mold, and we are low for grasses today. Today for us, sunny mix, muggy, Humid. <laughs> I couldn't say enough of that. So muggy and humid, breezy, high of 89 degrees will be our average. It will feel every bit of 89 degrees. Now, as for our evening, some clouds, humid still, sunset 805 with an overnight low of 74 degrees. Let's take a look at the next six days ahead because we are expecting some rainfall midweek and it will work to cool us down just a bit. Warm and breezy tomorrow, 87. There comes the rain on Wednesday. We expect some scattered showers, but 82 for your Wednesday, 84 more seasonal. Well, we should be about 84 this time of year, Thursday, and then we warm things right back up with plenty of sunshine for the rest of those six days. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks for logging on to HeraldTribune.com.